So in this video, we're going to go over some balancing and I don't, I've done a lot of research, but I've never balanced the piston myself. So, and I'll give you the situation we're in. I have balanced all seven of these pistons and I, I initially labeled them how they came out the engine. Well, when I made my fatal mistake, I had to order one piston and it's number seven. That's well, it's not, it would have been number seven, but you can look, the weight is 493 grams. Every other piston is 496. So I'm kind of in this crossroad of how, what do I do to get these all the same? Obviously it's easier to take away weight, but I need to look at, I need to get three grams from somewhere. And I don't know if three grams on a piston that's already made to be somewhat lightweight, if I'm gonna be able to find that. So to say that, let me take you over to the bench. So on the bench, I have this old light uh, combing uh, aviation piston that's been a, just a conversation piece uh, for when I was in aviation maintenance for a while. And I'm gonna play around with grinding with this Dremel and this a uh, sanding drum of how much material is it going to take to remove three grams. I have a scale we got from Harbor Freight. It doesn't do into the tents, which I regret not paying attention to that, but it does get me down to the gram. And I'm okay with that. If I can just get everything within a gram of each other, I'd be very happy. So let me go ahead and remove uh, some metal. From what I understand, you want to remove it around this wrist pin area. Uh, you don't want to hit the base, but it's all around the, the wrist pin, uh, the flashing area of it. So that's what we're going to play around with and just see how much material it is to take off one gram. So pretty much what I did is I just made a pass, one. I made a pass, two, with light pressure. I did it on both sides. And we went from 1771 to 1770. So one of the things I did different though, I did use an air gun, I blew it off and we had some residual fluid in there. So I'm not sold that it wasn't a combination of blowing out fluid or if it's truly metal. So I'm gonna do it again. So I'm trying to knock off three grams. So far that would have been one and that wasn't much metal. And that's my research is showing that it's like a, a couple of specks of, of oil is a gram or two. So it, it makes sense that not much will go a long ways. They say a post-it note is one gram according to Steve Morris on his video. So let me do another pass and see if we knock off another gram. Okay, so kind of my fear, I did the exact same thing again and we're still at 1770, which is what I wrote down last. So that was two passes. So now I think I'm starting to get into like a legitimate how much to grind off. So let me make another pass and see. So let's put it on here now. So we knocked off three grams. You see, we started off at 171, but then we call that, maybe that was fluid. And then we started pretty much at the 1770. And you can see I had a lot to work with. And you can see I kind of got aggressive on that edge here. But in reality, it was really just knocking off the flashing. Um, I was able to go pretty deep, but I don't feel like I jeopardized the piston at all on it so i mean we're just removing a layer so i feel safe about messing with the other pistons and going through those and i'll show that process but now i'm going to move into a connecting rod fi fixture that i'll show you all another video but anyways yeah three grams removed on this piston and i don't think it took anything off that's going to jeopardize the integrity of the pistons so this is our brand new piston from Summit. Uh, the one that was previously on it, Hydrolock so bad it damaged the wrist pin area. So you can see my initial weight was 193 without the pin. We're just gonna re-verify it. So boom, it's still the same. I went in and blew it out with air, just trying to knock off a gram where we could. And what something I thought of after the fact on one of the older pistons, this is number four. You can see it was 196 without the pin. And now it weighs 
195. And all I did was I thought about it. It's like always I took lacquer thinner and just cleaned out. You gotta look all these holes. It got a hole here, a hole here, it got holes here. Those holes are in the wrist pin. And I was like, what if there's oil in here? And so I just wish it around, used their air gun, blew it out, and boom, we knocked off a gram just because of that. So now we're within two grams. Depending on who you talk to, that's good. And and I'll tell you something I'm contemplating is you can see there's residue and a little muck on it. It's almost like, is it worth worrying about? Because this is brand new and this one's used and being that as soon as you put that one in oil and maybe go through the same thing, get a little bit of this residue on it, off, <clears throat> on, off, whatever, then you might pick up the gram again and then we're within a gram of each other. But I think I am just going to go ahead and just knock off the casting, knock off a, a gram, and then I would feel okay that it's within one gram of spec and will be pretty solid. I did go through the connecting rod. This is going to be another video. They all checked out good. You can see like this one's 121. Oh, goodness. With his batteries in this one, it cuts off quick, which I guess I kind of appreciate. It's still showing the same. So I do got some at 621 and 622. That might be some matching that I can do to get everything perfect, but we'll see. Okay, I just want to show y'all just knocking off one gram by cleaning out the piston was worth something. So we get a got a deburring tool here. We got something for more aggressive, or we got a sanding drum, I mean, and we got our carbine bit. And here we go. So I didn't get to show how the video ended from there. So I did record all my numbers and I want to go over it with y'all. Grinding on that one piston I started off with, I was able to knock off three grams from it. And then I started just reevaluating and just re started recording my numbers. And you can see how my numbers varied. Number What ended up being piston number eight was the brand new piston. And then I weighed my wrist pins. All my wrist pins weighed uh, 106 grams. And then I weighed my connecting rods. And you can see how my connecting rods were varying within two grams of each other. And there's a thing on connecting rods is big end versus small end. I try to make my own fixture. I was unsuccessful with it. And I just got to where I double checked everything to where I had a warm and fuzzy. And I chased the overall weight of the combination of combining a heavy connecting rod with a light piston. And I was able to get all my overall weights of each other down to 1,000. 221 grams and showing you on this aviation piston that was in the video earlier what i did on the ls piston is i stayed in this wrist pin area and i was able to like just chafer this in here and i was able to get like a gram just off of that and then for another gram i just chafered the whole outer edge here and that was good for another gram and then to get my third gram, I chafered my oil holes here. I just deburred them a little bit. I used my carbine bit and just opened them. And then I was able to uh, chafer the sides. And that was good for my third gram. I don't think I could have got four grams easily out of that tight piston. It was already made to be lightweight. But I was able to get three grams out of it just to show somebody how much grinding is needed for three grams on a aluminum forged piston.